guys, welcome back. It's Friday night freestyle. You can see we've gone crazy this evening and <laughs> used a little bit of blue tape. Uh, my wife London is here to answer all of your questions and read all of your comments. So before we do anything, <laughs> let's go through the colors. I'm not sure that we're going to use a whole lot of these. I mean, we might. So sap green, cad yellow, Indian yellow, bright red, dark sienna, Van Dyke brown, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, and titanium white. Not really sure what we're going to do. Wanted to show you. We have our Bob Ross liquid clear that we've taken and covered the canvas with. And you can see the area that's not been covered yet. And so we're going to crisscross back and forth until it's all the same amount of shininess. Same kind of thin coat across the entire thing. All right, really work it in back and forth. Got to make sure it's nice and in every single one of those million little pores that are on the canvas. Back and forth. Bop, 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 bop. Take out your frustration from the week. So if this is your first Paint with Josh video, tell us where you're watching from, what time it is, where you are, who you're watching with, and uh, what's your favorite sandwich? We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I'm going to get a few paper towels. Got to have a few paper towels. If you're going to be painting and you don't have any spare paper towels, you are bold. You are a bold one. I'm just going to pretend like this, this tape is not even here, right? In my mind, it's not even there. We're going to end up covering it anyway. So, I thought I had Dalo green, but I don't. I seem to have sap green. We need to wash our brush. I thought I had one color, and apparently we have another color. All right, where are they watching from, babe? Uh, we have two individuals watch watching from Washington State. Awesome. Welcome. Uh, and nobody else on Facebook wants to talk to me right now. Nobody on Facebook wants to speak at all. Nope. All right, we're just getting a last little bit of paint out. Since I forgot to get the color I really wanted to get. We also have an individual watching from the Midwest. Kansas, Missouri is Midwest, right? I believe so, yeah. Places. I, believe, I, I haven't really been many places. So I've added phthalo green over the top of the sap green. Really don't want to use anything but the phthalo green. I love this color. All right, why don't we come up here? We're just going to dump it on. You see how it's kind of going over onto the blue? It's a very much of like a sea green, kind of turquoisey color. I'm just going to let that kind of flow throughout our sky, just anywhere it wants, wherever. There we go. We've got wherever. Alabama, we've got British Columbia, we have Arkansas, we have Tennessee, we've got Louisiana, we have Alabama, we've got Southern Missouri, we've got Seattle, Washington. Seattle. Hey Indiana. now from Seattle. <laughs> Indianapolis 500, how you doing? Seattle's got the Space Needle. Let's see how many things Josh knows about the United States, which is very little. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> I don't want to play this game. All right, a little bit of that Thalo blue, a little bit more of the green, and we'll just kind of put them down wherever. Just make sure our black area is sort of covered from end to end in all these different colors, right? You can take them and kind of back and forth just to get out any brush strokes. And if you're really looking closely, you'll be able to see all these different colors. I mean, they're, they're hard for me to see. So I wouldn't imagine you guys would be able to see him very well. I'm going to check the camera. We're going to make sure we don't have any glare. Babe, Get my big head out of the way. Did you add acrylic pouring paints? I did. Oh, okay. I really want to start. I want to try that. Okay. I really want, like, a la I saw a lady do my logo, basically, in a, in a pour and, and, like, air spray, hair dryer spray, whatever they do. And I was like, that looks cool. I kind of want to try that. You, you've brought up something from my Amazon wish list, babe. Would, did you like me to, would you like me to speak about that? Yeah, for sure. Bring up the, the old wish list. All right, let's get zoomed in. Nice and close so we can see all the details. How's the resolution, everybody? Is it uh, clear? We have nice clear resolution. Okay. So yeah, my Amazon wish list. I'm sure London will post a link. I uh, put all sorts of stuff from brushes to paints, little things. Super expensive things, non-expensive things, new easels, different things that I would use all the time on my Amazon wish list. So if you wish to support the wish list, we would love you for that. Now, we're going to stop talking. We're going to start painting. And I'm sure London will put the link in the comments. It's already there. It's in the comments already. We have... A little bit of white paint. That's all we have. Where should our moonlight be? We have Michigan. We have Australia. We have Central British Columbia. We have Central Marshall. Columbia. Is that Minneapolis or Minnesota? 
Well, this is just a mess. Not that one. <laughs> I think Minneapolis is a city in Minnesota. So M N is, is Minnesota, Minnesota. I would believe. So Marshall, Minnesota. I would I'm British. It's fine. That's okay. Okay. All we've done is make a little mess up here, right? I just like it to be a little bit less of a circle and a little bit more of a crazy shape. And all we're doing is just try to stay out of your way. I'll just paint it upside down and backwards like this. If I could do it. Hang on. Where are we at? We could do this. It's easy. It's fine. It doesn't really matter what our clouds look like, right? That's fire. Fantastic. Because all it is is a little bit of shine around the moon, and then we can really get into our clouds. Okay, we're going to come up here, going to grab a little bit of our white, just like this on the end of a filbert, smush it all in there, get it nice and full, and then we're going to come up and right in the center of our color right here, we're going to put a little moon, just by pushing flat, and then we're going to rotate the brush again. I'm going to try to stay out of your way which is always more difficult than just doing it, you know, the normal way. Try to stay out of your way as much as possible. And you can see by doing that, I've made a funky looking moon. Just trying to stay out of your way to make a good video for you guys. All right, watch, we'll go back the other way. And just twist until we have our little circular shape. And it'll want to grow, so be careful. It's going to want to grow, definitely. Very soft, go over the top, very soft. Make sure you don't have a lot of paint, otherwise it'll drag we don't want that to happen. Just very soft. Moose says, yesterday I was at the doctor's office. Three hairs and some hair. I was at the doctor's office and I was at the blood lab window. I noticed the lady had a Bob Ross bobblehead. I was like, that's cool. We got talking. I was talking about how I watched Josh. She asked, what's his name on Facebook? I told her paint with Josh. She was like, oh yeah, I've seen him paint. I was <laughs> like, that's cool. That's amazing. Roberta sent me that message uh, or comment. I saw it somewhere earlier today. I forgot to tell you about that, babe. That is the coolest thing, that uh, some random person saw me. They're like, yeah, no, I know Paint with Josh. That's, that's so cool in, my, in my, little, my little world. Big shout out to Captain Gerber watching from Huntsville, Alabama. Hey, Mike Gerber in the Alabama. In right. what? <laughs> in, in the Alabama. Okay, we're going to make like a big old, just a, just a mess of clouds, right? All we just have white. It's going to mix with all the color underneath, ready? We can even shut our eyes. Here, watch. Let's shut our eyes. We'll make... Just like this, I can't even see. Let me get in my, my frame, okay? Right here, just in the thing, doesn't right, even very much way. matter. <laughs> just like that. All we need, make a mess with it, right? Big old, if you want big old puffy clouds, you gotta make a lot of paint. Alexander Granich says, when does the show start on PBS? Yeah, exactly, I wish. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting just like you guys. You can, however, go over to netflix.com and recommend shows and type in paint with Josh. If we get enough people to do it, Netflix is going to be like, who on earth is this paint with Josh guy? <laughs> and then they're going to have to look into it. Just mixing it up until it starts to look like far away little bits of cloud, right? Far off little things. You can take the bottom and pull it out in certain sections. If you want it to be flat over here, pull it out, make it flat. Make it look like it might just rain over there. Right, maybe our next section's down here. It's a Judith Everhart says, I'm here watching as usual. Hey, hey, Judith. Thank you for tuning in, Judy. Old Judy, Judy. <laughs> Not old as in, you know, age-wise, just like as a fan. I love you, Judy. Jan says, hi, Josh. I'm somewhat new, and I always look forward to your lives. Hi there. Thank you for tuning in and watching. We appreciate you. We appreciate it. Look at all this. Look at all this mess we're making. Right? You don't want to sound like a broken record, but it will be the first time I will say it tonight. If you are watching on Facebook, please smash those emojis. Try and stay away from the angry emoji because it does make Facebook think that the live is rubbish. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up. If you wish to support the channel while watching on YouTube or Facebook, you can send superstars on YouTube or stars, super stickers on super YouTube. Super sticker stars. And stars on Facebook, there is no requirement for you to financially participate. You can obviously go to the link tree and visit Josh's Etsy store and buy yourself some really cool stuff like hats. We do have uh, one individual, Corey, watching on YouTube who purchased a hat today. He did purchase That's a hat today from California, sunny California. It's going to be an amazing, amazing thing to wear on your head. Uh, but we they are also awesome have quality. Paint with Josh shirts. 
We have paint with Josh leggings. You name it, it exists. You can True. We have paint with Josh lots of things. If you like a painting and you want it on a cushion, just message Josh and he'll whack it on a cushion for you. And I'll yeah, we do pillows. We do all yeah, sorts of stuff. Look at that. That's anything not anything cool. that you want. We can we can shove a painting on. Um, Very true. A little bit more blue, a little bit more dark green. See if we can't make some deeper, darker shadows that we might have covered up in here. But it does massively help the channel with Josh buying canvases and paints. As everybody knows, these things are expensive. You can also visit the link tree and visit Josh's wish list. And the wish list would be cool. We could do some, some really neat things. Buy some paints and they'll magically just show up at our house. Right. And then we'll get to say, hey, these paints are from... Uh, you know, Sally from Minnesota sent these tubes of paint and we're going to use today. Thank you, Sally, right? How wicked awesome would that be? That kind of looks like the mouth of a snake a little bit. It's a snake. It kind of looks like a snake. It's a little bit of a snake. <laughs> now, that we, now that we see his snake likeness, maybe we, maybe we could just give him, maybe I'll go upwards and then downwards because I don't want him to grow too far, right? Just give him a couple little fangs. It's a snake. <laughs> We're going to put his eyeball maybe back in here. I mean, yours might not look like a snake. And mine might not look like a snake to you. But to me, I don't know, kind of gives the impression of a snake. Here we go. And give a little little details like he's he's wriggly. Moose wants to know, is it a cloud or, or is it raining? Well, you never know. It's, it is what it is. You have to stay till the end, Moose, to figure it out. Yeah, you know, I don't even know what the end scene is going to look like yet. Woo, that looks cool. Whatever it is, it looks cool. He's a snake. Why don't we come just a little bit? Not a lot of paint, because I don't want to go too much in front of that storm, but I want to have the cloud have some depth. You know what I mean? Another little layer right there. Kind of maybe pushing that one back just a little. It's going to trip your mind out. It's make um, you go insane, bro. Do you have kids hats in your store? Uh, no, but you the, the hats are, are uh, snapback hats, so they're... Adjustable. My daughter, these adult size ones fit my daughter. She's 10. And uh, all she does is just snap the snaps down a little bit tighter. Yeah, but what if then old if dad. wanted to buy a smaller hat? We'll have to look onto that. We'll look into that tonight. Okay. I'll look into that tonight. London will look into it. Any special requests go to London. Let's see. I don't know. I just, I like this little snake over here. He's cool. <laughs> He's a snake. There we go. Uh, shout out to uh, Agent555 watching from Washington who says his favorite sandwich is a tuna fish sandwich. Tuna fish. That's a good old sandwich right there. You, I mean, you can't go wrong with a tuna sandwich. A little bit more of the dark, just because I want a little bit more color. It looks, back it in looks there. like a giant snake with two huge fangs. Yeah, that's exactly what I want it to look like. That's exactly what we want it to look like. I don't know what this is, but it's very cool. I like it. Maybe make it a bit softer this way. Yeah, there we go. Don't want to connect the two bits of cloud too much. Look at all the differences in the green and the blue and all that stuff. It's very cool. I might just change my whole idea about what the, the whole scenery was going to look like back here just based off of that. That's hello, throwing brushes everywhere. That's kind of neat. Yeah, we can just put it over. We can put some water in the butt and be done, babe. It's been like 15 minutes. Done. That's it. 15 minute painting. <laughs> Everyone's like, no. Longer than 15 minutes, please. I mean, they're like, yes, please. Get off the screen. 15 minutes is enough of you. Let's see. I don't feel like anyone feels that way. It's possible. No, I don't think so. Just putting a little bit of that kind of black in there just to make the shadows just a little bit darker. Right? And then you go in and you mix it up. And it'll just change it. Just you the can smallest tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Tune a fish. That's hilarious. Boom. I like it. Like a little bit, maybe far off. It stopped raining so hard back on that one back there. Very cool, though. Very neat what you can do with clouds. Just playing around and seeing what kind of, what kind of things we can do. You know what I mean? What effects can we make? Just by doing little different things, differences, right? Little differences and little things can make the difference for your painting. It's very cool right there. Right there. Super neat. Take our whole clouds, go up against the whole thing, just flattens down any 
big bits that we have, right? When we're painting on black canvas, we're trying not to paint, so we don't have any large areas that are gonna smear across when we go to do it. Now, we could do a whole thing of forest back here. We could do just like water. I mean, we could literally do whatever we wanted to. Whatever we see fit. And if you wanna make your clouds a little bit brighter in, dirt, in certain areas, go back in, add little details, right? Little differences. Just be very soft with how you blend them away and you can create cool little things that aren't, you know, they're not going to be the same as mine. They're going to be different in your painting. They're going to be different in John's painting. They're going to be different in Steve's painting. Roberta's painting. Everybody's painting is going to be different, which is what makes them all so great, Fact. in my opinion. In my op. Let me take our, our bush making brush. I've been using this to make my secret piece that I've been working on, but it does make like some very soft, cool little bits of detail in our clouds, very softly. Right? We don't want a whole huge amount, but I want to have like some soft little, little, little areas. Very cool. Very cool. It just adds that littlest bit of light detail, just like a, you know, our faraway trees or bushes would look, but in a cloud. Very Babe, neat. is that tape there because you wanted to paint this on a smaller canvas? Yes, I was shrinking it down. I didn't have any, I mean, it's roughly, like 12 by 16 now that we've taped about two inches off around the whole thing but uh yeah it's all our 12 by 18 yeah. or 14 by 18 whatever it is yeah and then we're going to peel it off and we're going to do something cool so stay tuned stay tuned until the end london says tuna fish stay tuned to fish yell till out, the end yell out to a couple okay. of the uh youtube subscribers that subscribe for the super squad hey super squad all Cheryl, the dark colors right caitlin that's it that's all Cheryl, that's okay that's all that's here let's put in a little bit of dark all right just little different things save our rainstorm back there and I'll have these far away kind of autumny trees. Curtis Bailey says, I love that picture behind Josh. Which one over here? The the sunsetty one or the blue one back there? It will come up this way. Just very light amount of paint, just enough to cover the color back there. Oh, well, first hundred stars of the evening. Hey! Bobby Coday. Bobby Bobby. See, look, see the small amount of paint? It's not even really covering a whole lot, but we're on a dark canvas, so we don't need to cover a whole lot. Over here, even look, it's not a whole lot of paint that's on the brush. Look at it. I'm dabbing it everywhere. There's not a whole lot, even in the lightest area of the tape over there. So you don't need a whole huge amount. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for the stars, by the way, Bobby. Appreciate that. Stars help us buy new canvases and brushes and all sorts of stuff. And with the new Amazon wish list, you could get us, you know, all we could get us this brush. Like I always need new stuff. Us. I don't touch the brushes. Me, because some you, people like you more than they like me. I am aware of that. They <laughs> like my voice. They're not learning much from let's, my voice. Let's grab a little bit more of this bluish greenish over here. Come over here, and I want to make them not so bright. Right? It's going to look very, very, very bright when we put it on that all that dark. It's going to pop very hard. Right? But we don't want it to be too bright, and we don't want it to to really touch. Our cloud either or be exactly right it's it's a very close color so we want to leave some areas or maybe little bits of our tree got lit up in different places and then other areas remain very dark right maybe over here i think for the next 60 seconds i should tell a little bit of tree what you're doing with your paint and you should just be quiet okay i'll just be quiet and london will tell you what i'm doing i'm Loading okay, in so some white and greenish. Why are you telling Sorry. me what to do? Okay, go ahead. Right, so here we have the light blue on probably the oldest brush known to man. Uh, once he finishes faffing around, he's just going to stab it onto the canvas in sporadic motions. But it's not sporadic, it's... You're supposed Sorry. to shut up! <laughs> here we go, we're just going to keep tapping the canvas. He's trying to make a song with the rhythm of the way that the canvas hits. Uh, up, down, shake it all about. Shake it all around. You're supposed to oh, sorry. Has it been a minute? No, it hasn't oh, been a minute. Sorry. Shut up. Are you going to keep painting? Yes, sorry. I'm trying to plan it out. You know I make this stuff up in my head as we go. So keep making it up. Just keep your mouth closed. Okay. Okay, so we've added a little bit more blue and white to this. <clears throat> yep, we have. <laughs> yep, we have. 
Uh, now we're going to reach for another utensil. That utensil looks like an old-fashioned 1930s torture device. We're going to dip it in the white paint. <laughs> the liquid and white. we're going to add it to a bit of this blue, uh, Little Mermaid blue. And uh, make it shut up. Sorry. And then we're going to make it even more lighter blue. It's, it's, it's very light blue. Then we're going to take a tiny bit on the torture device. And then we're just going to make a line in the middle. Oh, the line is never ending. Okay, and the line is going to go all the way across the painting. That that wasn't where I was seeing that going. But by the way, people love it. So I'm just going to keep doing it, the whole tutorial. <clears throat> it's a smiley face for London narrating the entire thing. Sad face for Josh, who can no longer use his voice. <laughs> Uh, now, now we're going to use again a 1950s brush. No idea what type of brush that is. <laughs> they love it. Oh, that's funny. They love it. I'm going to keep going. I'm down. I'll just. I love not having to talk and just paint. It's then fine. keep going because the people love it. Okay, so now we've taken some uh, a tiny brush, almost like an eyeliner brush. And we're adding some, some white wiggly things that look a lot like varicose veins <laughs> onto the painting. <laughs> Do some more varicose veins. Yep, perfect. That looks like ones that normally grow right around the ankle. I've uh, got some more over here on the left hand side. Yep, and it's stunning. Absolutely, uh, just perfection. Uh, on the right hand side, we're going to add some more. Yep, that one looks like it, it needs it needs removing. That one's, yep, perfect. Not from the painting, from the body is the varicose veins. Okay, now we're going to take another thin brush and make it wider, like a varicose artery. Like a varicose artery. <laughs> Okay. It's a couple little things back there. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Your painting doesn't have to look like this. It can look exactly how you want it to look. Perfect. Very true. That's Very like a back true. of the calf varicose. <laughs> Just a really thin ankle one coming up right here. Thin as I can get it. I will, uh, I will stop talking if uh, I don't see those emojis going, by the way, that let me know that you enjoy this. Yes, the laughing emoji is a good start. <laughs> Very true. Uh-oh, we're running out of paint. Don't try to force it. Remember, if it doesn't come off easy, go back, get some more. I'm sorry, no one told you to speak yet. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. That's kind of cool. It looks beautiful. Bob would be proud. I oh, appreciate that. Yeah, I like that. Good enough. Good enough. It's not really going to be the focal point of the painting anyway. It's all just background stuff. Okay, again, no one told you to talk. Sorry. <laughs> so Sorry. Welcome into Paint with Dom and Sub. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> painting with Dom and Sub. That's funny. Yeah. All right, you know what I think we're going to do? I think it's time... That used the we tape. remove the... Really? Yeah, we're going to take the tape off. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pull the tape off a little like when you go to see that nail technician and she says that your eyebrows need waxing. We're going to pull this tape off and <laughs> hopefully there's still some eyebrow left. And some painting left. And then we're going to continue. We're not finished. Ah, get off of it. They make this, this tape This like is why serious. Josh is a painter and not a cosmetologist. <laughs> They make this stuff seriously sticky nowadays. It's, I don't want to mess around. That's how it is when okay. you get your eyebrows black. Now that looks really... It looks very clean. Really cool. I mean, it's seeped through a little bit on the edges and stuff, but, I mean, that looks really neat. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Like, it's got its own little border, right? Welcome to London's chat. Yeah. Paint with London chat. Get off of there. Okay, so we're going to continue to remove this tape. Yeah. We'll take up the entirety of the life. Um, 
There we go. And then at some point, Josh is going to attempt to paint some other things there. on the spaces. Nope, that's it. I think that's very cool. Take All right. left hand side. <laughs> Take left hand side. Take oh, we got it over here. You don't want to leave that for the people with the. No. Uh, Welcome to Painter's Tape 101. Painter's Tape. Leave some of it on. Okay. Are you going to do the talking now? Because sure, we can. Appreciate it when I do the talking. <laughs> Well, we're going to mix up all these brown colors and dirty bits. And, and we're going to make mountain mixture, which, sort of, by yeah. the way, is available in a tube on Amazon wish list, Paint with Josh. Yep, I, and that way I won't have to make my own. I can just use that right out of the tube. True, fact. <laughs> and I never make enough, so we're probably going to have to make way more than that. And okay, the reason... So now we're going to take the uh, 1935 torture device once again. Take this, and, oh no! This it's, device. This is a this is a old school brush that's covered in paint. Uh, it doesn't matter what your brush looks like; you can legitimately paint with anything. True. Uh, we're gonna dip that in that painter's mess, that mountain mixture, and we're gonna just go over the corner. Oh yeah. Of the oh fantastic. <laughs> we just need to make a Netflix show where London just narrates it every week. <laughs> So now we've made a small bush in the bottom right-hand corner. Again, your bush could look exactly however you want your bush. No, that's not a bush. It goes across the entire thing. Not maybe, the entire thing. Maybe not. It's just a few bushes. Ah. So three quarters of the way along the bottom, we're going to make a bush with some mountain mixture. Yep. Definitely. Then on the left-hand side, we're going to add a little bit more of that mountain mixture. Just making the little bushes at, you know, little bushes at the bottom is all. Cluster of bushes. A little cluster. A little bit of... Cluster of bushes. I really want it dark though. So dark clusters of bushes. And very thick. Very thick cluster <laughs> dark bushes. Alright, let's do... It's going to be very hard on this dry bit to pull any bit amount of land out. So welcome to Paint with Josh where we wet on wet for a portion of the canvas and a portion of the canvas yeah, we don't. It's dry. I would just like to... Uh, Shout out to a very special young little man watching in California who is uh, just being an absolute rock star and he is Definitely. watching you paint currently <laughs> a Netflix series of London narrating people in their daily lives. That would be That's, cool, dude. Sounds like a good show, but first let's push paint with Josh. <laughs> uh, do we have a big tree coming? I have absolutely no idea because I'm making this up as I go along. Josh seems much more fluid because he knows before he touches oh, the canvas. Oh, you guys know me. But assumably, I'm trying to decide do. if we could do a waterfall off. You could do like, whatever you out like. Out of this frame, we could do a waterfall, pop it down not like paint that, the easel. and just and act like the water is literally falling out of the canvas. That would be kind of cool. It's also cool that the the land is coming out right here though too. So I don't want to do too much, right? Josh always tries to do too much, and then nobody watches his videos because Josh does too much. So let's not do too much. We are going to throw a gigantic tree in, though, that's for sure. As London narrates the painting, like David Attenborough. Dave Mann just said, I think we should challenge everyone to do a Josh painting where... We only go by London's commentary and not actually watch Josh until afterwards. Yes. We have actually spoken about this. We do. We had that thought. It is something that we will likely do in the future. Um, I'm getting yes to waterfalls. Thankfully, I don't know how to paint a waterfall, which is why the artist formerly known as Happy Little Landscapes is in front of us, and I'm standing behind the camera. <laughs> so now we've added a little bit more of that Little Mermaid blue with a little bit of uh, uh, Finding Nemo teal. To the uh, to the bushes, sensational. Just a little bit of brightness is you're all we need. You're still doing that talking thing. Sorry. So we're gonna stipple on, just like that, for the bushes. You can make the noises. You can make speedy noises like that. Do that. <laughs> It's like that little bit of ground coming out, right? It's dark, so it's night. I'm sorry, I have like to. It when I, talk. I feel like I, I mean, I've, I've done it this far talking. I mean, I feel like I have to talk. I mean, you don't. I guess I don't. You have me. You guys don't want to hear me talk? That's fine. You know what? We're going to do some cool. No, there's. See, I'm trying to do too much again. Okay, here we go. Let's take a fan brush. 
that you really don't care much for. Still doing the talking thing. And we're going to so, go through all that dark color. Here we have a, uh, a well, it's, it's a fan brush, I guess. There isn't really another term for it. We're going to dig it in this awful dark brown color and make more awful brown color. And then we're going to add, uh, oh, oh, a tree. Yep, you knew it was coming. A giant tree out of the bushes. Out of the cluster of bushes, we have a tree. Thick brown bark tree. Fantastic. Amazing. And you'll be able to see, like, half of it'll be glossy and half of it won't because it's not on the painted side over there. Sorry, I'm so, talking again. So here we have a, a wet paint on dry canvas painting. This is, uh... This is similar to what you see people who do not follow the wet-on-wet -wet technique, Bill Alexander, Bob Ross. Uh, here we have two branches coming up and across the painting that we peeled that tape off and gave the painting a waxing of its own. Now we're going to add more brown to that top branch. Yep. Really got to make it thick enough too. I want to let you know, whoever just went on Etsy and favorited something, I appreciate it. <laughs> Running uh, ads, too, right now, so could be the people there. Don't let the ad people beat you to it. There we go. A couple big old branches is all we need. Adriana says, what oil paints are you using? You do not need to answer that. I am narrating today's show. He uses any oil paint that he likes. However, his favorite happened to be the Bob Ross. He did purchase them prior to the Bob Ross documentary, and he will continue to use them until this box is empty. Then he will buy more. So uh, he, saith mama. He does also use Gamblin, Winsor Newton, and Magic Fly paints, I know, because I see them on the bank statement. Um, and that are, that's about sums up the oil paints that he uses on True. the regular. Here that's we go, we're just gonna... It. We're just gonna lightly smush the cluster of brush, uh, bushes on the just bottom. Just to make them glossy. Just to make them a little bit more glossy, so they uh, add go. dimension to the painting. <laughs> then we're gonna take some more of that Little Mermaid blue, and we're gonna add to highlight these cluster of bushes on the bottom. You could also get the same technique if you used a cotton wool ball, and you didn't have a one inch round brush thing. True. There we go. Sweet. That's about all I want to do right here. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to switch to... Can you turn that fan to face me over here? It is deathly hot over here. I am not sure why it doesn't face you, but there we go. I turned it that way to keep my okay. paints from okay. drying out. Oh, I can feel it now. We just got to keep an eye on the to iPad. Stop your though. pants from drying my up. Why were your pants wet? My pants. Why were your pants wet? Okay, look, we're going to come in and just grow these guys just forever and a day. All the way. That's why we didn't put any big mountain. We didn't do anything back here because we wanted all these branches. So here we're adding some more branches that look a lot like the Stranger Thing creature. <laughs> While we add these branches, so these branches going to have leaves on them? I don't know, because I'm not painting them. They are definitely not. Josh okay. likes old dead trees. Ooh, we even went up and out. Came back in. This, this branch was like, I'm going to do whatever I want. All we got to do, that's why we put all that light color back there. So we can have all these beautiful things light up in the night. Uh, Caitlin on YouTube says, do you need some Depends? That would keep your pants dry. <laughs> That's funny. Hilarious, Caitlin. Hilarious. Looks pretty neat. You need a lot more branches, though. So, <clears throat> get ready. You can add as many as you want to your painting. But I want to have a lot. Also want to let you know that we do go live every Sunday at 10 a.m. So if you are unable to make Friday Night Freestyle because of the due to the time constraint across the country, which makes absolutely no sense to me, and I still don't understand why it's light here and dark in other parts of America. Right. Um, so strange. We are live 10 a.m. every Sunday, 7 p.m. 
Pacific Standard Time. Both times are in Pacific Standard Time because that's the time zone we live in. And uh, we will be live. No, we do not. Uh, for the individual that just messaged me on Discord, no, that is an inappropriate comment. I will not say it out loud. Um, <laughs> All the stuff we get. Yes. So, uh, if you are unable to stay for the entirety of tonight's show, you can always come back on Sunday. You can always watch the replay. And remember, there are over 260 free videos on YouTube. We are trying to get Josh some fancy plaque from YouTube with a play button in it. Oh, hell, I... That I would, would be amazing. It would be amazing, but that's a long way the first way. one at 100,000. Uh, we and we're at four. four. That's, <laughs> that's fine. You have to start at four to get to 100,000. Mm -hmm. Even if they were dollars, that would be the same logic. True. Little teeny tiny things. Look at this tree just grow and just step right out into our scene. If you are interested in becoming a member and financially supporting the channel every month, it does cost the same as a large fancy coffee, both on YouTube and or Facebook. It's up to you which one you choose to subscribe to on YouTube. However, there are videos of Josh. Uh, is the drunk painting video a members only video? No, that's, we don't that's, talk about that's that. That's a trash video. Did we throw that one away? Uh, we didn't throw it away. It's out there if you can find it, but okay. You know, uh, you will also come across be warned. A, you will also come across a video of Josh cooking hamburger mac. That's also available. Yeah, <laughs> one pound, one pan, one really funny video. Come on, that was great. Uh, Gina wants to know: Did you work on the fourth canvas to your spectacular multi-canvas piece? I have not. I was planning maybe if you guys are lucky, we could do it tonight because this one's about to be over, and uh, I, you know, usually go for about an hour and a half, so we got extra time. If you guys would want to see that painting, who has extra time? Well, I mean, I could narrate it. If you are interested in watching the fourth canvas to Josh's multiverse, multi-canvas multiverse. painting uh, after this live, uh, it'll just be one continual stream. Uh, yeah, it'll be one long video. I mean, you guys got to tell us yeah or no, yeah, though, like if you want to watch it. in the comments if you're interested in watching. If you're not interested in watching, uh, it doesn't need to be a caveat that I narrate it. I'll happily allow Josh to actually narrate <laughs> it. Actually uh, teach and... Gina says, yes, Mark McGeary is watching. Hello from our fellow uh, British people in Las Vegas. Hello, hello. Appreciate you tuning in to watch us. Definitely. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I know I've said it before, but if you are watching on Facebook, please uh, smash those emojis. Try and Gotta stay hit away those emojis, the, guys. Try and stay away from the angry ones. Everybody appears to want a waterfall off the left-hand side. Well, well, and well. If you, and if you are watching on YouTube, if you could hit that thumbs up just to let YouTube know that you enjoyed it, uh, that would be wonderful. That does push it out to more people if they think that it's entertaining to watch. It's kind of cool way to do the bark, just kind of straight up and down. Be careful on your dry section, though. It's not going to act the same as, as it does when we're on the wet section. That's for sure. And it's just white and the... Uh, You're 100% correct, babe. Things never work in dry sections uh, or, or dry period as they do wet things. hey -o. Family show. It is a family show. How do you think people made families? hey -o. There we go. Just getting it a little mixed up so you get a little bit of lighter color and it's not so super bright, right? We can allow it to mix in with all that stuff. Yvonne We're allowed to do that. Here from uh, 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 Arizona. Yvonne. Vaughn from Arizona. There we go. Very cool. Everybody is all for you continuing to paint this okay. evening. Okay. Well, let's do it because this one's about done. I mean, it's a nice, simple, little, easy, you know. They want the waterfall, babe. Oh, the waterfall. I, I mean, I, I don't know if I should give them that. Okay. Have they been liking and smashing the emojis? It appears that way. Do they I deserve like the waterfall? I feel like there's some more coming. I feel like there's more coming. Yeah. I see After we talk about it, there's Tanya. more coming. Uh, let's see. Thank you, else, guys. Thank you. Thank gonna, you. There we go. Who else is going to tap that screen and send some hearts and some care emojis and Just some mess it up. emojis? Look at that. Literally messing it up, changing it. Get these cool little things. Very simply, very easily. Bam. All right. We want a waterfall over here. <clears throat> We're going to have to add a rock in, and it's going to kind of change our 
Maybe we can do it without even going out the lines. Without even going out of the lines. Can he do it, folks? He did it. Amazing. Judith Everhart says that tree is great spooky looking. Thank hey, babe, you. do you have anything coming up where you're interested in painting paint something so uh, I, spooky? I almost did it tonight. In advance for the people who are interested in painting something spooky for the Halloween? Yeah, so if you like Halloween stuff, I have a giant um, a bit of... It's a coffin lid, right? Like a decorative coffin lid. We have a giant one. It's not a real coffin. We didn't buy a coffin. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a wooden coffin shape. But adding a little bit of that, just the blue, right? Just so we have a little bit of under color down here. And then we're going to let it fall off. Nicole Ann says, give us what we want. Give us what we want. There, we're going to have a little bit of waterfall come out. Then we're going to have to hide another little rock right here to, to make it make sense. This is the way. This is the way. True. All right, we're going to grab up our white. Remember, because we just added the blue, so we don't need to have really super blue paint. And maybe we're going to come and go like this. And just drop out, fall out of the out of the painting. Very cool. But it's, better, it's always better when you have that first swipe, when you've got a lot of paint on the brush. But you don't want to have too much. And now we don't want to make it too white. We want to have all if, those little differences. If Michelle Rose is watching, I put my cup down on the table where our computer is, where my squeaky chair is. Ah. Hence, squeaky chair. When I lifted up my cup, your name was stuck to the bottom of my cup. Was it? Yes. Not your name. Michelle's name. Michelle. -y. Damn. Like the water's just falling out, right? Take some of that. Just pull it back. And we're going to put a big old... A big old rock back there, but we have to kind of give the effect that the water might be rushing towards the edge, right? Coming towards the edge. See, give the people what they want. Who else does live tutorials, guys? Come on. Come on, guys. Who's doing it? No shops, no tutorialists, no other one is doing live videos. Yet all these fools have more subscribers than me. I don't understand. The only way we'll rock. get there with more subscribers is if you like, share, comment, uh, send it to your grandma, send it to somebody who potentially doesn't watch YouTube very often. Uh, anybody who's in love ooh, with painting, ooh, 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 anybody who loves hearing oh, drop make owl noises, <laughs> any, make any owl noises. That's what it sounded like. Oh, 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 guys. Uh, any, very cool. Any, any, any individual, you can put it on posters, stick it around your neighborhood. However, you can help us get to 100,000. We can only reach so many people, so we greatly appreciate it when you share that painting. We also understand Definitely. that potentially, maybe, uh, you'd like to buy a original oil canvas painting, but they are out of your price range. You can also go to the Etsy store, which is paintwithjosh.etsy.com, and purchase a poster print or a canvas panel uh, canvas prints which are considerably less expensive than the original oil canvases uh, but it will give you a little taste of paint with Josh in your house yeah they're, I mean they're so high quality they're better quality than the canvases that we paint on right it, it, it they're made thicker there's a thicker frame it's all sorts of betterness a little bit of this lighter color down in here just to just to show we've got a little bit of you know detail in our in our weird dirt that's coming out from back here. Very neat. Don't want to go too far to the edge. See that little, that super bright bit just on the edge of the thing because the, the corner is so rough and it pushes differently. All right, just wipe that away. Hey, Adriana, Josh is using oh, a cool. mix of uh, brown, brown, and brown to make rocks. Babe, please tell Adriana what colors <laughs> you're using to make your uh, colors. The blue the crimson and the black to make our dark shadowy color and then every so often we have the van dyke brown which is the darker color of the two browns so if you're using like raw umber and burnt umber whichever one is the darker one you know you'll be able to tell that way and uh, that's about it i usually mix these three colors the blue crimson and black to make all my shadows for anything and then we can kind of lighten it and do different things you know how we see fit jonathan Evely says the prints are awesome he has one Alexander Granich says, I went live last weekend at a show, nothing on Josh, but 
Uh, if you are interested, please send uh, the live to um, Josh's messenger, and we will try and come back and support. As yeah, I'd like can. to watch it. Adding a little bit of light underneath some of these guys, it just especially the guy that popped out up there. It's got to have a reason why you'll be able to see him. Yeah, I'd love to go see uh, to see it. So, and you, did, Alexander knows he's sent me lots of stuff before. Send it over, bro. Oh shoot, you pushed a little too hard. A little too hard, Dad. A little too hard. Just going over it just so lightly, just to make it a little bit less. Maybe it caught a whole extra bit of moonlight that time. We didn't push too hard. It just that that branch is just supposed to be lighter, right? That's what I'm gonna say. Just supposed to be lighter. There we go. Just adding a little bit of light over some of the little branches in areas where we think we need them. Remember, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. I will read the questions there out. Goes. Very cool. Yeah, definitely ask the questions. We love chatting with people. Definitely share because that helps me reach more people. I can't reach the entire world myself. I wish Facebook worked like that and I wish YouTube worked like that. And uh, I just can't do it. So I need your help sharing and commenting, especially after the videos are finished. Uh, go on and comment, you know, that you loved it or hated it or I should have done this or I should have done that. It would have been cool if I did this or that. And let me know. Let me know. It helps me make better videos. Maybe it would look neat if we had just a little bit more coming out out there. Just a soft little bit. Not trying to cover up all of our dark right? little dribbles. That looks kind of cool, actually. I know Bob's done the thing where he had the tree on the outside of the, the painting, but did he ever do one where, like, the waterfall fell off, too? It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. So this painting will be available in the old Etsy store. If you wanted to purchase it, every purchase helps me buy more supplies, and we can buy more paint and keep bringing you guys more free little tutorial videos, right? I put out a fantastic tutorial every Wednesday that's super in-depth. We zoom in and out every time I show you every mix of the, the brush and everything. So if you want to see something like that, those are come out, those videos come out on Wednesday. And then we do our live shows on Friday and then our live shows on Sunday. Hey babe, what if somebody wanted to watch you paint super fast? How would they how Well, would they I have paint super fast? I have many time lapse videos in, on my YouTube shorts list, my little shorts channel. Those are also on my TikTok. Uh, page. I put some of them on Facebook and some of them on Instagram, but mainly TikTok is where all the reels and the, and the shorts are created and then they're posted to different places. So TikTok is the place to go though. We're almost at 4,200 followers now, which is, uh, is crazy. It's just crazy to me. Crazy. Okay. Let's take this one down and we'll put the other one up and we'll paint that little one and see if we can't just match what, uh, what we're trying to do. What's the one thing we're missing in this painting now, guys? Birdies! Birdies! <laughs> From the There's Grand no Master. Birdies. The Grand Master with the three birdies that shocked the house for the young ladies. Uh, little birdies. If you don't know, these three birds indicate, well, indicate, represent three little my birds. wife, me, my wife, and my daughter. And uh, they go into every single painting, and that's basically the only way we get to travel. Is uh, flying around these cool little scenes with you, right? Damn. All right, that's way cool. Okay, we're going to put it up in the Etsy store. Uh, probably be, you know, about a half hour after the show's over. And it's a really cool little simple way. A lot of depth. Very cool little bits where you can kind of pop out away from our frame. and just gives it one more neat little thing that you probably haven't tried yet. So, uh, you know, yeah, let's get started on the next one. I was about to say goodbye to everybody, but we could get started on the get next one. Out, and check babe. it out. Look, you can, you can hold this sucker because it's dry. Hey. Look, baby. Oh, look, London's holding it. Hey. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Just, Just the black the one. one. Yeah, the little black one. Oop. Man, this scene coming together, guys, has been uh, has been a mission. I don't know that I I would paint it up here. Oh, look, I found a home for it. Nice. Ah! Oh Lord. That's all right. It hit the one that's empty. Oh, thank the Lord. For the most part. <laughs> there we go. Gross. Oh, the fun things that happen live on camera inside Please bear with us while we have technical difficulties. See, if you guys could help me get a new easel by uh, getting one on my Amazon wish list, <laughs> stuff like this wouldn't happen anymore. And remember, we're, I'm going to fix the camera angle and we're going to zoom in and do all that stuff. So, 
Let's see. Woo! You need a brake ski. Actually, the camera's like in perfect position. I like that. All right, now, this one is still a little wet, so, but this is the bottom, the Shuba Flo bottom. That's gonna come out about right there, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's about there. So we're gonna take a little bit of the waterfall, pull it down into here, and we could do all Maybe sorts of stuff once there. That, we're already zoomed all in. I'm yeah, all I'm worried about is right oh, here. Got it. And on the thing. That's it. So where my water's gonna come out, we'll say, you know, we need to put we need to put something there, like a like maybe we'll have it come out about there. So on the side of the canvas, I'm gonna mark where I want my water to fall. And then we can play around with the whole rest of the thing. Let's get the other one. Because the other one is the top, right? The people on YouTube won't be able to see. Hold this please. Cool thing. You're gonna have to come up like this. Oh Nelly. That cord out of the way. My goodness, guys, I'm sorry. Just going on a ride. There we go. What are you doing to these poor people? Okay, so this one's going to sit on the top, and we're going to have a bit of this little rock here, and then we're going to expose a lot of, uh, you know, our waterfall that's going to fall down into this area with all of our foam. So we need to have this a little bit bluish and crimsony, so a little bit bluish and, and crimson in here, and then we're going to have just straight blue down here, and then over here I'm going to leave just black because I'm going to have this big rock continue down around here. So. Now that we have the idea in place, thank oh. you. Now that we have the idea in our brains, we can put some liquid clear on this guy and we can get going. Okay, just the smallest little bit though. He's just a little canvas. We don't need a whole ton of liquid clear and we're gonna take it and wipe it off anyway, right? Whatever we have that's too much, we're just gonna wipe off. So there's a, there's a bristle in there from when we, Jesso the guy. That's free. I got him. It's free? Yeah, you don't have to pay extra for the additional bristles. No, yeah, he came out of my other brush thing. He just wanted to hang out. Apparently, I didn't even get enough. I, I said we just need a little, right? I even didn't get enough from myself. Okay, we're gonna put it on. Nice, even coat. We want it even everywhere. We're gonna try not to forget what we were gonna paint, like in the, the direction that it's supposed to go. Okay, get that down here, and then we're going to put our base colors on, and once we put our base colors on, then we can mainly just paint with our white paint, especially for the water, and it's going to just shine, pick up all these gorgeous little things. And shine fantastic. bright like a diamond. Got to wash all these brushes, just real fast. Keep them entertained, babe. I don't know how to keep them entertained. I was narrating a painting, <laughs> but you stopped painting. Well, yeah, but now we're now we're cleaning. You, you can narrate the cleaning. Oh, yes. So uh, into the cup, he, into the trash can. Okay, I don't need help. <laughs> I have eyes. Uh, so he, dip, he dips it in the odorless mineral spirits by Clean Strip. The reason why we use this is because the rest of the stuff that he's used in the past gives me a headache. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so he dips it in a cup that has seen far better days. And then he beats Is it, it a thin cup or a very thick cup? Maybe? No, it's an ugly cup. It is a giant, thick, plastic <laughs> cup that is coated in so many layers of paint it could hold the secrets to the universe. Yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> within a small Lowe's bucket, which you could pick up at your friendly Lowe's store for about $3, inside there is a golf bucket that uh, is good because Josh uh, is a struggling artist and can no longer afford to play golf, so he <laughs> his brushes at the bottom of the bucket. Yeah, right. He then dries his brushes on paper towels, which again, we go through more paper towels than anyone else you've probably ever met. Not and true. And when those brushes are dry, he then makes them wet again so that he can paint for you. <laughs> Welcome to the cycle of cleaning. Welcome to the horrible cycle. Okay, let's take this. We're going to wipe off our canvas again, some remember. More paper towels. We don't need all that clear. It's too much clear all the time. Even if you think there's, there's you know, too much, there probably is. Get over here, canvas. Okay, now I'm gonna have to look back at the camera a lot and see. You want me to Can you, yeah, yeah, just back on the. Sure, babe. Thanks, hon. I love you. Babe, you love screwed you. this up. You touched the top of this with blue on it. Okay. I'm sure it's not supposed to be there, and if I leave it and don't say anything, you'll 
tell me that I should have said something. So there we go. Okay, so if I look back this way. Nope, nope, next one down. That middle one, middle one. One down. There we go. There we go. Perfect. There's something really wrong with the back of my knee. It's the second time it's made a popping noise. Your knee pit? Yeah, that really hurt. Your knee pit. Okay. That's all right. It doesn't have to be straight. Okay, perfect. Remember, we have our waterfall area, then another waterfall, and then some rocks. We're going to leave this side empty over here. We're going to come back. We're going to grab... Let's use a one-inch brush so we have enough room, right? Now, for our waterfall... You know what? Let's do this first. Let's get our phthalo green. All right, we're going to come in from wherever we had our, our little mark on the side, wherever you want your waterfall to start and where you want your water to be nice and bright, you put a little bit of that phthalo green. And you put it anywhere. Even if you put it onto the side where we have the rocks and a little bit gets covered, it's not going to make a whole huge amount of difference, right? Don't need a whole lot. Just very lightly. It stays nice and dark. Now we're going to come into the blue. Hey babe, what was that the stuff? The blue was, in there. What was that stuff that's, that Superman was allergic to? Kryptonite. That's what it looks like. No, now with the blue, but with, <laughs> the, with, the, with the green. That's awesome. A little bit of crimson and the blue together. Remember, it makes this like lavender-y color. Heavier on the crimson side, the more heavy purple it will be. The more heavy on the blue side you are, the lighter color purple it will be, the more blue it will be. Man, now we're going to have all this cool little bit of fog and all this stuff. Look at all that amount. And we use a good amount of paint on the brush. you got to have enough on there to cover it. If we did the same painting on a white canvas as we do on a black, it would look so crazy just with the undercolor that we use. We have, we're going to have to do that one day. Okay, remember purple, bluish green, blue. We're going to look back and see. We got our little mark on the edge where our water's going to come off and start to dribble down. It could, we could do little dribbles. We can make a serious fall straight down. We can do all sorts of stuff. So, initially though, we need to get our little half round brush and a little bit of that whitish color. Hey babe, just before you do that, will you just uh, look at the camera and say hello to Strider for me? Hey Strider! Thank you for tuning in and watching the show. We very much appreciate it. Okay, let's imagine that that waterfall came down, right? And then all of a sudden we have all this just mist and different things, right? Not from the very top of the canvas because we're not going to cover, we're going to have that, that bit of rock. A little bit lighter, but just adding color, just, you know, lightly. I don't want to go super bright and then all of a sudden now it's too bright to do anything with. We can't ever take it away. The only thing we could ever do is make it brighter. So, let's make it brighter just lightly. There we go. So here we are adding some Ursula purple. Yeah, Ursula purple. <laughs> That's cool. So we got our purple bit. Now, should we put in our piece of rock first? I think maybe we should. If we had that that came down, we're going to have to show the water going through here. So out. This could be all, you know, reflection if we wanted to. How did I plan this out in my mind? I have again? no idea, babe. The wonders of your mind is a wonder to me. Yeah. That's fine. Your stage is slipping. That's okay. Let's see. All right, now, the water has to feed itself into this thing before it comes out of that thing. That's how it's going to have to work. And then we have that little piece of rock that connects to right here. So we're going to have that. Why don't we just show, we can have this whole thing, yeah, we can have that whole thing just be... Who knows? We'll have that whole thing be water back here. We'll just feed it up. Okay, I got it. 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 You sound like Kevin Hope. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, we're going to take a little bit of the blue. Again, this is like, I've been making up this painting over like three, four hours, uh, piece by piece, and now you guys are about to watch me do it live, which isn't really fair on me, right? We got our second hundred really stars fair. on Facebook from April Gill. Hey, thank you, April. Uh, Doug Brown is watching from the Big Island. From the Big Island, brah. 
Thank you for tuning in. I love it. Here we go. Let's do. I don't know what that accent was. All right, let's atrocious. come down here. Another little bit, right? Little falls, little waterfalls. All right. We want it to re remain light colored, though. Let's see if we can't hold that guy up there. There we go. Which means we need to get more white paint. So, where is my white? Here it is. So just for everyone wondering, right. Josh keeps a magical box underneath his desk that contains <laughs> tubes of paint in that tube of paint that looks worse for wear. Yeah, it's there a, is white paint in there. This one is the white, only because the tube I got from Michael started leaking on me. Dang them. Okay, now, let's get some more of that white because <laughs> we didn't have a lot of white on our brush. It was mainly blue and it's not dark, not bright enough for me. All right, so let's come up here. And like I said, don't go chasing waterfalls. I have a little bit more up there, just because I, I remember. Except we're gonna have that all covered. There we go. Again, this is gonna come down. It's gonna You'll, pop its way out. Do you also want to remind you that if you are interested in supporting Josh in any format financially, the link tree has been posted over. Facebook, I will post the same link over on YouTube for anyone else who's interested. There is no financial obligation to uh, support the channel with your hard-earned money, but your hard-earned money does go to keep our lights on and our Wi-Fi and buy canvases and buy gas. So we do appreciate that. If you do not want to send money through Facebook or YouTube, you are more than welcome to go on Josh's wish list. And that way you know that what you have purchased is actually being used in the show where we can give you a personalized shout out which comes from every item that we receive from the wish list during the live painting show either on a Friday night 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You tell them, babe. I will, babe. You tell them. It's so, so, so light. And based on Dave Mann's comment alone on Monday, I want you to figure out what painting you think is the most complicated, and I'm going to voice over it. The most complicated of my paintings? Yep. Okay. But we can't tell anyone what that painting is, because I'm... <laughs> it would be it. this one. No, I'm going <laughs> to voice over it. Okay. And then we will post it for your viewing pleasure at some point next week as a bonus video. All right. Bonus video means Josh has to work more. Where's the bottom of that? No, I'll one? do everything. I'll voice over. I'll edit it. I'll do everything. Just give me the video that you that you want me to use. There we go. Now we're cutting off a lot of that because those two little little pieces of rock have to line up. This is the bottom, the underside of an opening in the rock. It's all gonna be blacked out and it's this whole side. It's gonna be all one piece of rock, but we should be able to see inside and then have our little piece coming out. So maybe we'll have to do another little waterfall back there for showsies. Cheryl asks on YouTube if Facebook is still mad that Cheryl won the raffle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anyone's mad, Cheryl. Yeah, nobody, nobody said anything to me. I need to change the color of this water to that kind of greenish hue. And we are down in the in the depths of the of this little cave, wherever we are. So not really worried about it too much. Add a little bit of darkness in there. We gotta have our dark waves. We added too much light was the problem. Gotta have our little waves, little changes, little things. Little differences, little differences in color. You can call them whatever you want. You can call them little rolling bits, little little rocks, little brooks, little something. I do you want to do a shout out real quick to Carmen, who is watching in Ohio. She normally too. paints with us every Friday night. She is the most adorable two-year-old who yeah. doesn't seem to go to bed ever. Yeah, right. But, uh, when she, does she sleep? She never sleeps. She never sleeps. But uh, she has chosen to eat instead of paint with us tonight, which is okay. That's fine. Eat your vegetables. Mom says eat your veggies. 
All right, let's put another big stone in. Halo CMG says, hi, Josh, I'm new here. Do you paint every Friday at the same time? I keep tuning in late. Yes, I yes. do. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, unless you're not in America and you're somewhere else, in which case I don't know where you are. If you want to drop your location, I will happily tell you what time it is and the location near you. Uh, but yes, we do go live every Friday night, 7 p.m. and every Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm aware that comment was aimed at you, but I thought I'd answer it instead. Thanks, babe. You're welcome, babe. Why don't we do this instead? All right, just like that. Now we're going to take the whole rest of this bit. Ah, that makes more sense. Remember, the top of that is all cut off. It's going to be one big piece of rock, and you're like, holy cow, what is going on? Gina says it's amazing how you're piecing this together. Thank you. Is that Gina Lambe? It is. All right, maybe there's a bit of splash down at the bottom. It's like rolling over, and then shoot, it comes down again. Fun fact for anyone that didn't know, pencil draws on leather. What are you talking about? I'm drawing stars on the arm of this chair. Why are and you doing that? I don't know. It seemed like the right thing to do at the time. <laughs> I took my medication today. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Yeah, guys. All right. Let's get this bit of mountain in so it doesn't hurt my brain anymore. In order to do that, we need the uh, brown and the cad yellow. We're going to mix them up until they make this kind of yellowish. Add a little bit of the red and the, and the dark sienna brown as well. Want to let you make know this little rocky. The, the dedication of your fans, Josh, is truly remarkable. Caitlin is sitting at a grocery store stealing the Wi Fi just to watch you paint. <laughs> That's awesome. It's just mushing it on, just giving ourselves an idea about where we want to have the opening of our stone, right? Now, this whole rock is going up and away from us this way, right? Which means the whole bottom of it doesn't have to be, like, super lit. We can tell from the top. The top of it has all the light and all the detail, and when we stick it on top there, we don't want those two pieces to be the same. We actually don't want any dark any light up there at all we want it all to be dark halo cmg if you're in wisconsin you are two hours ahead of us therefore it would be 9 p.m central for you and 10 p.m at uh, 10 i'm sorry let me restart that <laughs> halo cmg who is in wisconsin asks what time you paint it is 7 p.m pacific standard time for us you are two hours ahead of us so it would be 9 p.m central time for you on a friday night and noon central on a Sunday, if you wish to tune in on a Sunday. We got there. Noon on a Sunday. No, it's 10 a.m. for us on a Sunday. Well, 10 a.m. for us, but noon for him. Right. There we go. A little bit. For of... anyone else that's in that portion of the country, if you're on Eastern Standard Time, it would be three hours ahead. Which means that on Friday night, we go live late at 10 p.m. Right. All right. Now, we have a lot of bits. We have a lot of stuff going on here. We got a lot happening here all at once. And we have to kind of make sure we hide everything well enough. There we go. Just so my waterfall comes out back there. It's going to fall straight down. I mean, we could have two waterfalls. Oh, my goodness. If we pull this one down, right, way down here. And then we came in with a much brighter one across the edge. You guys, you have inspired me. I'm just trying not to get paint on any of these finished canvases. Oh, babe. This is going to be cool. It goes straight down, though. Right? Not a lot of paint as we get down to the bottom. If you have too much down here, it's going to ruin it. Okay, straight down. Very lightly. It's very far off. Ooh, fantastic! Far off waterfall, way in the distance, okay? Now, make our, take our two inch brush, really pull it down, push hard, make it flat. You wanna make it very soft, oh my goodness, babe. Doesn't that look freaking wicked? Huh? Doesn't yes, that look babe. wicked? It does look wicked. It's like, I am surprised at myself. 
we took a little bit of our, there we go. Look at those details. Just so lightly, letting it, whatever's on the knife just fall off, okay? So softly, just very lightly, very, like two hairs and some air. Don't want to hurt at all, okay? It's almost like there's a bit of light shining through up there. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to take that brownish, yellowish mixture again. And let's say that I got a little bit of light lit up in here. You don't want to do the whole rock, right? Want to leave all the back half dark because we don't see the back half. You only see the front section that has the color on it. You don't see anything else. It's we're way down here in the depths of this cave. Who's going to see any part of anything down here? Nobody. Wow, that looks freaking rad. Uh, pardon my French, but that looks rad. Rad. Like just shaking it back and forth. Letting it create its own little walls, its own little thing. My heck. Ooh, Nelly, watch. We're going to come up here very lightly because I don't want a lot at the top. And now more. That's way too much. It's okay. We can go back and make it softer. Just mixing it in, and it comes down there, and there's a whole other little piece of rock or something. Oh, 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 oh. holy, holy jeez. Holy cheese. Holy cheese. Man, if that's not the coolest looking little thing I've ever seen. Now, you're like, okay, Josh, if it's getting pretty bright, I right, go back with the darker brown, just mix it in until it starts to change. And change and change and change and change and then as soon as you have yours where you like the way that it looks and it's a nice you know little easy graduation from all that light out there into that kind of darker area where you can take these guys and grow them to the side and that's when you start having fun that's when this whole thing becomes a lot of fun right, pull it off this way who cares giant things that go on, right? And then we can come back again and we can take, I mean, you can do whatever. You can do whatever you want to do. Change little things, add, maneuver, push, pull, grow mountains, right? Change caves and grow mountains. That's what we're doing in here. That's what we can do with Paint With Josh. We change caves and grow mountains. That, oh, 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 my... Nelly. Heck. Oh, my Nelly. I love that. My Nelly. We, my dad used to use that a lot. Nelly. My Nelly. Look, just hi-ya! Scrub it in there and you get all these little cool things. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Man, whoever buys this one is going to firstly have to pay out the nose and secondly going to love it to death. Wow. Just very softly again, hey, three hairs some air. Would that signify that you're selling that for boogers? Yes, I'm selling it. It, it is going to cost boogers. <laughs> That's why I love you, babe. That's why I married London, you guys. Is anyone saying anything? Uh, I was looking at something else. Ah. London is busy, guys. Sorry. No, I'm not busy. <laughs> oh, just adding a little bit of dark, some of the black. Alright, some of the crimson, the black. Gina says, what made you decide to do a multi-canvas piece? It's super cool. Uh, one of the guys at work was like, oh, it'd be neat if you did like this Star Wars-y one where you did you know, this, that, and, and I'd have these pieces, you know, you see stuff all, I mean, I see stuff all the time online where yeah, it's like, we used to have one, one of Deadpool, where it's like a bunch of split long canvases like that, remember, right? Yeah, that was my favorite. Yeah. I don't even know where it went. I, it, I don't know. But... When you see stuff, and then I was like, okay, I, I wanted to add to that painting. It came out so good that I wanted to add to it. And, you know, it, I was like, oh, I've got this other canvas right now, so let's do it on that. Or I've got this little piece. How can I use this little one? Oh, I can use it for the sky, and then I can use this square one for the cave at the bottom or whatever. So it was like a, it's been a, you know, it's been a long time coming. Let's see. Anywhere where it's really super bright, I don't like to have, you know, we're down here in a cave. What are we doing in this cave down here? 
letting all that yellow and brown mix together, you get all these cool little things. But wherever we had a little projection, we should drop off a little bit of dark. And that way, everything looks good. All right, come over here, just like that. Cool little piece, like you can almost walk out there. Woo! Okay, now we have to do the one waterfall to the side, and then we're gonna call it done. Like, that's fantastic. Fantastic, you guys. All right, so we're getting the white. We're gonna go over here. We'll line up where our waterfall was. That's where it is right there. All right, we had our rock, had our other piece. And that piece there. And it's almost like it fed down here and then came back and joined in. Okay, it makes sense to my brain. It makes sense to the brain. Okay, here we go. And just like that. Push that other waterfall way back there. Man, it looks cool just with even one swipe. That looks awesome. Squeaky chair in session. All right, cool little thing. Don't want to blend it so much that it changes from that piece in the back, right? And then we can add just a little bit on the side, just so we know there's some sort of water back there. Right? Sort of, sort of something. Shum, shum, or we'll add another piece of uh, stone there or something. Bam, just straight, the same angles, right? Take our bit of rock that's clearly needed right here, like a projection. Covers up all that stuff. All right? I never like having color go all the way to the edges. I always like to leave a bit of darkness, a bit of reflection. I mean, you could even continue this guy, cut the whole bottom of that waterfall off. Halo CMG says, Josh, I see Bob Ross in the background and you quote him sometimes. Was he a major, babe, your stage is going to, you are going to end up going off to the left hand side. Thank you. Uh, and you quote him sometimes, was he a major influence for you? I started painting a year ago and he was an inspiration for me. Oh, he's absolutely a major influence for me. Uh, I started watching a lot of Bob Ross after London's mom passed away. And, you know, he was like my, my one way to break away from everything. And I was just blown away how nice he was and how, you know, simply and easily he could do something. And, you know, I was like, okay, after so many times of him going, you know, anybody can do it. You just got to have the drive and the this and the that. I was like, okay, I need to get these paints. And uh, when I first started painting, that's how it came out. You know what I mean? We, London got me the Bob Ross paints for my birthday. And then I couldn't even wait for my birthday to come. I was like, immediately, it was like a month, almost, it was like three weeks. Like three weeks early. And I'm opening up those, those paints and getting into it and, yeah, I mean, it's everything that I know, I've either taught myself or learned from watching his show or going back. Like, there's a difference between me and most people. I'll go back and, and watch the things that he doesn't say. So he won't tell you why he put this there or why this is in this spot or that's over there. And he just does it. And that's why his come out so great and yours come out, you know, uh, and you're like, well, what the heck? We're doing the same thing, but I'm not. He's not, you know... All, even down to the quarter inch of where we place rocks and water and this and that can play into your perspective of your painting. And so it's little things where he would put the, the mountain and just cover a little piece of the cloud. And I'm like, wow, that looks really cool. You know, and I'd, I'd see other people's paintings and they weren't doing that or they hadn't done it, you know, or they'd forgotten it. And so I started to tell people things that I would pick up and... You know, then the, 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 all the tutorials were born. That's basically how it went down. Trying to, to make it easy, because I, I, I struggled trying to learn, you know, how to make it look like this, right? I didn't just pick up the brushes and all of a sudden it looked like this. I mean, I was good off the bat, but I wasn't this good. You know what I mean? And then I tried something and I... That down there isn't your first, is it? No, it's downstairs. No. Which one are you talking about? That one over there. Oh no, that was one of the first class videos we did, but not the very first painting. That's downstairs proudly. Man, this looks like the bit where Indiana Jones and, and he has he drops that blonde girl, you know what I mean? And the and the, the holy grail's laying right oh my goodness, could we paint a cup? Could I do a cup? 
Can I paint the Holy Grail laying down there? That would be rad-tastic. Okay, I need to leave myself a little bit of an area to work with. And if we could paint just a little sandy carpenter's cup, that would be really cool for some reason. I don't know. Just the geek in me is like, that would be neat if we could throw in just a little uh, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark reference. That'd be cool. Probably use a fine line brush. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Whoops. Very soft. Again, in the same angles that we went down. Right, showing maybe there's a little bit. See, that's almost too bright. So we got to come back with the darker brown and not leave so many details, right? That's better. Caitlin is a big fan of Indiana Jones. She is screaming, yes! Yes, put the freaking, put the, the grail there. The grail laying out here. Right out there. First, we have to make, you know, make it look flat so it'll hold the grail sitting there nice in that little flat spot. Okay, let's get a little liner brush. What did that what did that cup look like? It was kind of brownish, I'm sandy. Just about to pull it oh, London's pulling it up for me. It's a little sandy brown. So we're gonna use yellow. Our uh, our dark sienna brown, which is the lighter color of the browns. Looks like this. A little bit of red, maybe. Let's see. You stupid internet. And we're gonna want to have a little bit of liquid white so it'll come off of our brush. Yeah, that's the color. Ooh, we wired that to shit. Well, luckily, you want to okay. get some magic flag Ha! <laughs> Maybe. Let's keep this very, very much. All right, let's come in here and grab that. See if I can't do like a little, little grail that was just laying on the edge. She's like, I can reach it, Indy. Indy, I've almost got it. I don't know why she sounds Indian to me. No, neither do I. There we go, baby. The hard part is getting the color to lay in there. Because it wants to mix in with all the other stuff that's back there. So, we're going to need to put some shadow in there, too. Where on earth is your gold? That, I don't know. In any case, just don't worry about it, baby. It's not, it's not looking how I want it to look anyway, which is fine because we can take it and swipe it over and like it's never been there before. It's almost like I'd have to paint it, you know, uh, standing up straight, which is not how I want to do it. I don't want it to look like that. So we'll practice and then uh, come back another time and do, do the Holy Grail on some stone or something. Hard to be put on the spot and do it, you know, right away. <laughs> now we found it. I just, I, I don't like the shape that it was coming out at, and this is such a cool piece that I don't want to, I don't want to just try, you, you know what I mean? Laying on its side. That's what I tried. I, I couldn't get the, the angle right, like, in my brain, it just didn't work. There we go, very soft. Woo! Double waterfall action. Okay, let's see what it looks like with the, with the top, right? We got the top. Oh, definitely. That is rad. And then we got the side, of course, which is over here. Hold, please. Try to get it set up to its perfectivity. There we go. You still can't really see it. Yeah, it's fine. We need to cover over this one piece of waterfall right here. This is with a bit of rock. Oops. Yeah, I know. I just I tried it. It's so wet up here that I just can't. I can't get it to do that. Maybe once, uh, once Maybe it dries. Maybe when it dries a little, I'll yeah. come in and paint it. Yeah, when it dries, I'll, <laughs> that's it. London will come in and paint the Holy Grail right there. Okay, so this is the rock that needs to be covered up. All that splash. There we go. And luckily, this is still sort of wet from last night. So, dump some of our color onto there, and then just very lightly, just a little bit of um, just some kind of coloring in the rock. It doesn't have to be the same kind of color. It's outside in the light versus being in the dark. 
Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, coming down. There we go. Just like that. Very neat. All right. Well, guys, in every other one of these, I've put three birds and my signature. But in this one, I don't think I can put the three birds in the painting. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's going to be part of another piece. It'll never be sold separately. But I don't... I don't know why there would be birds, unless they're bats. It could be bats. I want to be a bat. It could be bats. Cheryl doesn't like bats. It could I want be, to be bats bat. in there. Cheryl thinks bats are gross. I huh. like bats. Caitlin right. had a bat in the house. Had a bat in the house. No, thank you. Yes, please. No, donka, please. There if anybody loves cool. bats, you can always travel to Austin and see Bat Bridge. That's the most fascinating bat thing in America. Bridge. How far are we zoomed out right now? The whole way, I think. Okay. Let me double check. That's all right. See, maybe our little birds have lost. At least they're in there, so when someone goes, oh, you didn't paint birds into that one, I go, yeah, I did. They're just bats. There they are right there. Tanya just sent 100 stickers. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, 100 stars. Uh, Jonathan Evely says... Uh, <laughs> Put three fish in the water. Three fishies. Sleeping with the three fishes. Uh, Gina says, how many boogers approximately is this going to be? This one's probably going to be about 400 boogers. There's, uh, there's four pieces with the shipping. Yeah, and I mean, there'll be some sort of percentage off, but the, the base price is probably going to be about three ninety nine ninety nine, and then I either run a, a 20 30 or 50% off uh, sale in my shop um, every week so the change is weekly so depending on the week you could get them for very cheap or not as cheap or pay full price or you may just not include it in the sale what do you mean oh just like keep this one out of the sale <laughs> like you know you gotta pay full price if you want it there we go just want to keep it a little bit dark very cool. It would look neat if some of this something was like hanging off. Like a staglomite. Oh, that would be an awesome idea as well, babe. Babe, Next coming with painting. the hits. Next painting. Really? I could drop him off like right here. Next painting. I was thinking maybe like some moss or something Next from the, you know, the, the are plant the life thing. Is the one that hangs down or are they? Is that is stalactite or stalagmite? I think stalagmite might grows from the bottom and stalactite hangs on tight maybe is that how they're distinguished stalactite hangs uh -huh. tight to the top am i right no ah. stalagmite is the one that rises from the floor yeah that's what i said stalagmite goes up from the bottom and then stalactite hangs from the ceiling yeah Tightly. That's not what I heard. Oh, shit. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was, but I liked it. There we go. A little, little bit of guys. detail on our rocks. Just little things. As always, you guys have been absolutely amazing to sit and hang out with us on your Friday night for an hour Definitely. And a half. See, an hour and a half. Told you. Two paintings. Told you in an hour and a half. Be done. In an hour and a half. Now we're gonna sing the hip hop, the hip to the hip song. No. The hip hip hop, don't stop a rockin'. Don't stop a painting to the bang bang a boogie. Set up, jump the boogie. We're painting to the boogie the bee. Swiddly bop, we rock and see London miss me. I know. I'm singing my part. I'm singing my part that's been you know rehearsed a billion times. Then hit him with it, babe. No. I like the. How does the beginning go again? Now I'm lost. Hip hop. No, I know that bit. <laughs> and you don't stop a Um How's the, what's the first verse now? Now what you oh, mean yeah. is not a test. I'm, I'm, not rapping. Rapping. I'm painting to the beat. Just me, the groove, and my brush are going to try to move your feet. See, I am paint with Josh, and I like to say hello. To the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, the purple, and yellow. But first, I got to paint, paint, a boogie to the boogie, set up, jump, the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie. Yeah, you guys are in for a treat when we release that video. <laughs> you don't stop. Paint the rhythm. Of
Now so far you heard my voice, but I brought two friends along. And next on the mic is Paint with Josh. Come on, Josh, sing that song. Check it out on the P-A-I-N, the T-W-I-H, the rest is O-S-H. <laughs> I've got lyrics, bro, for days. Days. I just need some background music is all. Let's clean these guys up. So, uh, all of these paintings, now that they're finished, I'll have them listed in the Etsy store. And uh, I think right now it's a 50% off sale. So, retail so, is 800 re <laughs> So uh, you'll probably be able to get them for like two to two fifty for shipping and everything. Yeah. What? You just said it was four hundred. Yeah, and it's a fifty percent off sale in right now. In the space of ten minutes, it's gone down one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, it's whatever London says it is. Thank you. And uh, she can run the Etsy store, and I'll just create. I will paint, and then just be told where to go. Like, be at this place to do a painting for these people at this time. Man, I can't wait to hang this thing up. Woo, whoever gets this, I'm seriously going to be jealous because I love it. Stalagmite reach the top. Stalactite hangs on tight. Yeah, Cheryl from the top. said C is for ceiling, G is for ground. Where's the C? In stalactite. And what's a... Stalagmite. Oh, I thought they were spelled the same. Hmm? I thought they were spelled the same. Why would they be spelled the same? One comes up from the bottom, one No, comes you were like with it. Stalac and stalag. Oh. I thought they were the same. All right, can we get this fine painting away from the paint thinner bucket so any sprays don't Certainly. spray about upon him? Well, guys, we want to think, which one of these did I just wash? I can't tell. We want to thank you for tuning into the show, and uh, if this is the first time you've ever seen a Paint With Josh video, it's not normally like this. Normally we'll stick with just one painting throughout the whole show, but I'm kind of glad that we finished that, and now I can actually paint the video for Wednesday tomorrow. I won't have to paint this one as well. So we just knock them out, get them out of the way, get them nice and done. Gold. Yeah, babe, everyone in the comments is yelling it should be more expensive because it's full paintings. Okay, then you guys tell me what you... I mean, I've got paintings in there for more, and no one's buying them, so you tell me. I'll list it for $7.50 then, and it's 50% off right now, this week. So if you buy it fast, you get it cheap. If you wait, you're going to pay more. There you go. $7.50 for all four. No, Corey, there will be no more paintings. No more painting for he this said evening. We need one more painting. <laughs> no more painting. No more for this evening. It's Friday. Plus, oh, we should probably mention since it's Labor Day weekend in America anyway, and most of you guys are probably off for uh, Labor Day on Monday. So am I. So maybe we'll just do a live paint show on Monday. Whoop whoop. What? Wah, what? Wah, wah, wah. Just be like, yeah, just paint your butt off all weekend, Josh. Well, you've been in a creative mood. Why? I know. I you know, just dried that brush. No, I know. Dang it. That was too much. It's because I messed around with that spot with my fan brush and then, then it wasn't the right kind of brushiness that I like. Okay. Got that, got that. Always got to get cleaned up because then I'll go downstairs and forget and then I'll come up to like super hard brushes and a palette that can't ever be cleaned again. So in the meantime, make sure you're following us on Facebook. So if you're watching on YouTube, go to Facebook. And uh, watch us on Facebook. I get rid of all of this. Woo! Oh, I thought you uh, you did that thing like the one no. time. Uh, so yeah, if you're watching on face, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, follow us on YouTube or subscribe to the channel. I do have paid content that you can uh, pay for and, and gain you know access to extra videos. Or I've got like 260 free videos, like London said, just like ones like these. Uh, some are more zoomed in, some are more zoomed out, some are spacey. Some have some my are, voice in them, yeah. some do not. All sorts of videos. So, make sure you subscribe to Paint With Josh on YouTube and uh, Facebook.com slash Paint With Josh. And then go to Instagram and TikTok.com. And my uh, tag over there is at Paint With Josh K for both of those. It's the only two sites that are like that. Some other butthead got paint with Josh, and now we have to. Well, we own paint with Josh on TikTok. Oh, uh, is it you? Yeah, I own paint with oh, Josh. Oh, well, then on how TikTok. do we merge these pages? I have no idea. I'll get to it at some point. <laughs> so, or we just restart over, and paint with Josh has zero followers again. Well, paint with Josh K has like 4,200. 
Okay. All right, palette's all clean. We're all good to go. I love you guys. We want to thank you for tuning in, for watching, for the stars, for the likes, for the love. Are we, like, way too close? We seem like we're way too close. Can we back it up just a little bit? Way too up in my face for the outro bit. Hey, babe, when would this painting be ready to ship? So this painting will probably take about three days to dry, I'm just gonna say. So maybe by Monday or Tuesday, I could get it out in the mail. The other sections are already dry. And um, look at my hair, guys. My hair's coming back in, baby. Oh, you're kidding. Good job, babe. Did I get yellow in my hair? Just put your hat back on. Did I get yellow in it? I Seriously. Can't see. Just what do you mean? Yeah. You can't see. I'm looking right at you. I so, I mean, <laughs> you can't see. No, I don't think you. Look, it's it's got to be in my hair, it's right? It's not in your hair. No, it absolutely has to be. It's not in your how hair. How is it? Your head's wet, but yeah, how... just put your hat back on. I don't know why you were trying to be a model anyway. My God, how did that not end up in my hair? I literally went like this. That's amazing. Look at all that yellow ochre. It could. It's probably in my hair. I just don't see it's it. It's not in your hair. Okay, it's like a spider. See my hair. Okay, uh, until we see you guys again next time. You don't want to have. No, um, we want to say thank you for the likes and the love and everything else. And uh, London really wants to get out of here. And she's whipping at me with a whip. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, until we see you guys again next time, uh, Wednesday we do videos where it's just me, deep instructional videos. Friday we do a live show like this. And then Sunday we do a live show where we do a seascape. And we'll paint something crazy on the ocean, right? Show you how to do it. Uh, but until then, until we see you guys next time, either Friday, Wednesday, Sundays, Wednesdays, or five seconds from now when you watch this video again and uh, learn how to paint it, uh, we'll see you then. So you guys take care. Have the rest of a good day. And pow, pow. My goodness, we have to come up with a new like, like outro. Get them out. Boom, get them out. Get done. I got to go blow on this so it dries. <laughs>